Hi everyone, um, it's Pyrex Stitches here with a very quick whip update. Um, just showing you what I've been up to during April. Um, I worked on just my two whips. I've only got two whips at the moment. Um, it's sort of like the end of a phase with my cross stitch and it's like the starting of another phase of the year. I sort of, I've achieved the goals that I wanted to by now. And um, yeah, so I've got a whole lot of new starts and things that are going to I'm going to show you in another video. Hopefully I'll get that done tonight as well. Um, so yeah, I've just been working on my green tree and I've made some real progress and I'll try and insert a photo here of what I was up to before. And this is what I'm up to now. And it's really started to come along really well. Um, this is what we're aiming for. Is that there? That's the full size. And it's 440 by 192 stitches. And I've got this much done and I'm really happy with that. I started last August and I just started parking. Thank you to Carolyn's video. Everyone loves that video on parking. If you haven't checked it out, you must do. And I'll try and put a link down the bottom so you can go to that video of hers about parking. It's fantastic. I um, finished off a bit up here, just the old regular way of just filling in the, in the blocks. And then I started my new page and I started parking. And I work this way. Even well, my work. It goes like that <laughs> um, on my scroll frame. And I started parking and it's been great. I really made a lot of progress. I do do my own little version of parking. I kind of, uh, I will, you can see I've done some bits and pieces up here. Um, what I'll do, like up here, there was one yellow, one square of yellow, one stitch. And I'm not just going to do one stitch, but I do want to do that because I don't want to leave that any any blank stitches in that row. So I did that and then I just filled in the just a couple of little confetti stitches of that yellow there until I got to the end of that section. I think there's some more up here, but I'm not going to carry from here to here. So, yeah, that's kind of how I do my parking. I, I will complete each block as I go, and I will carry some over if there's just a couple. Like there was a, like two stitches of um, a, a dark brown here, you know, and then there was one up here. So I'm not going to not do it, you know. So yeah, anyway, green tree is coming along. I uh, had a renewed passion for this piece this month because of parking. So yeah, so that's that one. And then my other whip is my Save the Stitches. And I've done, what have I done? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven blocks. Up to starting block eight next and I guess the biggest change with this piece this month is that I, I swapped out a color I was doing I'll show you my colors I was doing um, this which I'm calling my ruby my my um, these are all satin threads my ruby bronzy gold and I was doing a silver but the silver was just getting completely lost and wasn't showing up so I've I've swatched out, swapped out the silver and added a green instead so up here for example this was silver and you really you couldn't see it it disappeared but unlike this you can see that red you can see that goldy coppery bronzy color there and you can now see the green so I'm really happy I swapped out that color that was really that was a good decision and there wasn't a lot to do it, it really didn't take me much time at all to to, to frog that and, and swap that colour out. So I'm glad I did it at this stage and identified that it was not a great colour to use. I mean, you can see up here, you can see the green. You can actually, <laughs> it's really popping now. So I'm really happy with that. And I did get um, some of my beads. I originally bought the silver, but of course I've swapped that out now. So I've got the green on order. I'm going to pick that up tomorrow. So there's my beads and there'll be a green as well so they look really good I'm really happy with those they're um, on the Mill Hill you know the you can get a, um, a conversion chart 
for those colors. That's really pretty. That is going to look really cool. So I'm, I'm excited about that. But of course, beading won't happen to the end. And I did buy just some standard DMC to do the beading because I was thinking about whether I'd use invisible thread. But after talking to people about that, um, sounds like invisible thread is a nightmare. And I don't need to do it because these aren't isolated stitches, you know, out here in the middle of nowhere. They're going to be in amongst the color anyway. So I'm just going to use the standard DMC because that's going to be much easier to work with than the satin to do the beading so yeah so and there's my blue so it's I really like that those colors they're great they're really vibrant and I'm thinking that I might um give this one to my mum um Christmas or her birthday or Mother's Day whatever coincides with me finishing it I showed it to her the other day and she said oh that'll make a really good wall hanging and I thought yeah it, it will because it's you know it's quite long it keeps coming down um I think it will make a good wall hanging so that's what I'm going to do with it eventually and that's everything for my whip update just a short one today but I am going to try and do a haul and my plans for the rest of the year I'll try and do that now okay Bye.